Mud's a complex mixture of some very important but sometimes dangerous chemicals. You've got to be careful when you're working around it. So far, we've covered a lot of important areas. What mud does, how to keep it clean, how to test it, and so on. But nothing's as important as your personal safety. And the way you mix mud has a lot to do with your safety and the safety of the people working around you. In this program, we're going to go over some of the ways that we'd like to see you mix mud and additives. Then in the next section, we'll take a look at the bulk storage and mud transfer systems so that you'll have some idea about how to get mud from one area to the next. When we start a new well, you'll generally get a whole new supply of additives for the mud system, and supplies will generally be delivered to the rig throughout the drilling of the well. Some are going to come to you in bags, and some will come in bulk form. First of all, we're only going to talk about those in the bags then we'll get into the bulk muds and where they're stored. This is the mud storage room on board the Sedco 471. Here's where organizing is important. On some rigs, you'll generally see a real mess in the mixing room, bags thrown here and there. But on Sedco rigs, for the most part, you're gonna find that our rooms are pretty straight. Sometimes they'll be awfully full, but the different types of chemicals and additives will be stacked in some logical manner so that you can find them and get to them pretty easy and safely. Look, here we've got it all stacked up with bentonite in one pile, lignite here, CLS over there. All easy to get to and it's stacked pretty neat. And when you